And if you're a film lover or looking for something to do, you are in luck. The 34th Connecticut LGBTQ Film Festival starts next week, both virtual and in person. Joining us now to talk about it is Shane Engstrom, the festival's co-director. How are you, Shane? Great, how are you doing? All right, first question. Do you have to be like me? Do you have to be gay in order to enjoy these films? <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, it's for everyone. Everyone who loves independent films should definitely come out and check it out. All right, and in person, where do we go to get to see some of these movies? We are thrilled to be back at our traditional home at Cine Studio, which is on the campus of Trinity College in Hartford. Okay, that's exactly oh, where that's I Oh, that's a great, yeah. yeah, that's an awesome theater. And, you know, people might not realize you've been around. It's one of the longest, oldest film festivals in our state. It's been around for 34 years. Uh, talk about maybe some of your favorite films that we could see. What are they about? Um, yeah, we've got a, a lot of great films, um, including, I think, my, one of my favorites is the opening night, Potato Dreams of America, about a, a kid who moved here from from Russia and um, and and discovers his way in, in America and how it's really not like what he's used to seeing in the movies uh, back in Russia. Um, we have a, a great movie that opening weekend also called Tobe, which is about uh, a Finnish artist, uh, Tobe Jans Jansen, um, and her bisexual life as a comic artist. Um, we just have a, a ton of really great films. Um, spanning all different topics. So we invite everyone to come out and check them out and go onto our website and watch the previews and, and decide what you want to what you want to see. And, and how, did, for how, how does it work, Shane? Because I know in the past it's been over a course of days. Do you, do you buy a pass and you get in to see some movies and then others? Or how does it all work? Good question. Um, yeah, so you're able to buy passes, and because we're both virtual and in person, uh, the passes that you can buy, you can either buy a five show pass or a festi pass for all of the shows. And those passes are good for either in person screenings or uh, virtual screenings online. And we have 12 days worth of programming at Cine Studio, and we have films online. We have like 26 programs that are online. Uh, that will be available throughout the span of the festival and even beyond the festival. You know, you were kind enough to send us uh, a few videos of the different movies. So I just want to let people know some of the other films that are out there. You talked about Tove. You also have one. P.S. Burn This Letter, Please. What's that about? So it's all about like 1950s drag culture in New York City. And it's the, they made this uh, documentary from the trove of... Um, of found personal letters that had been written back then to someone and they just discovered these letters and, and it, it's such a rich telling of like what was going on with drag culture in New York City back in the 50s. Okay, Summer of 85, Shane? So Summer of 85 is a French film by Francois Ozon um, and it's a, it's one of those uh, summer friendship um, movies where um, these boys meet each other and their their friendship becomes a fling and and then it becomes a thriller so it's it's um it's really interesting coming of age film and and is there a directory where we can find out what when the movies are showing and you know what times they are yes you can just go to our website which is at outfilmct.org and um and the full schedule is available there. You can feel free to browse. Okay, and there's one more I think we got here. Yeah, you have another one. Kiss Me Kosher? Kiss Me Kosher is a romantic comedy uh, set in Israel. And it's, it's about intergenerational and it's a cat clash of cultures. A woman who, an Israeli uh, woman who finds a German um, a girlfriend and and she her grandmother is is upset um but but the grandmother is also dating a palestinian man on the side and so there's it's all a mix up of, of cultural and and uh, identity and it's really a, a lot of fun and, and chain if i can't get to the movie the first time does it re-air at a point over the 12 days or it's just once and it's done 
So at Cine Studio, it's once and done. But the great thing about this year's festival is we're going to, all of those films that are showing at Cine Studio are also going to be online and they're going to be available to, for streaming for one week after that as well. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah, and this festival, again, starts June 4th, but you could um, have a viewing party in your own house if you don't want to make it, if you can't make it out. Uh, again, you've got the choice of virtual or going to Cine Studios. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, not everyone is ready to be out and about, um, but, I mean, we, Cine Studio will be practicing uh, safe uh, conditions. They're only allowing 25% of their normal capacity and asking people to wear masks in the lobby. But once you're at your seat, you can take the mask off. And, but if you're not comfortable with all that, you can just watch from home at, on your yeah. couch. I love the <laughs> come uh, in and support some of the great local yeah. restaurants too. I, it's nice, I love nice the uh, double entendre. Not everyone is ready to be out and about. Well, I am. <laughs> ready to come out? I'm you're, ready. Do you want it here? <laughs> he was born ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shane. We appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, for more information, again, uh, to get some great films, outfilmct.org. Yeah, that looks terrific. All right.